Let's look at a slightly more complicated series of reaction steps, where we have two molecules absorbing on the surface of our catalyst, which then react. So our sequence of elementary steps is going to look like this. We have adsorption of A. And so this circle around our reversible steps denotes that this is a quasi-equilibrated step. So we can take this adsorption to be essentially at equilibrium. So we'll have quasi-equilibrated adsorption of B as well. And then we'll have surface reaction between adsorbed A and B to form product C and liberate our two catalytic sites. So our overall reaction is going to be A plus B going to C. So just a cartoon of what this looks like on the left over here. So we have A adsorbing from the gas phase, forming a chemical bond with our surface uh, to form adsorbed A. We have B also adsorbing onto the surface of the catalyst to form a bound species. And then these undergo a surface reaction to form C, which instantly desorbs from the catalytic surface and regenerates our active sites. So we call the reaction of two adsorbed species on the surface of our catalyst a langmuir hinshelwitz step. So this step here is a langmuir hinshelwitz step. So the rate of this step, and by extension the rate of our overall reaction in this case, depends on the reaction rate constant, K3, and the number of adsorbed A molecules adjacent to adsorbed B molecules. So previously, if we assume we have an ideal catalytic surface, we've developed expressions for the coverage of A, so theta A, which is equal to the concentration of adsorbed A divided by our total number of sites. So what fraction of the surface is populated by A? So the equilibrium coverage of A for this case of competitive adsorption with B is equal to the equilibrium constant for adsorption of A times its concentration or partial pressure divided by one plus K1A plus K2, the equilibrium constant for adsorption of B times its concentration. So we have a similar expression for the coverage of B. The numerator here will depend on the equilibrium constant of adsorption of B times its concentration. And our denominator, our sort of site balance here, is going to be the same in both cases. So again, we can write the overall rate as the rate of this langmuir hinshelwood surface reaction. So that's going to depend on the rate constant for that step times the coverage of A times the coverage of B times our total number of sites. So using our isotherms, we can write this rate expression. So it's going to be equal to K3, the rate constant times the equilibrium constants for adsorption of A and B times their concentrations divided by one plus K1A plus K2B. And since that same denominator appears in our coverage of A and coverage of B, the exponent in our denominator here is going to be a two. So in general, the exponent in the denominator here tells us the number of sites involved in the rate determining step. So here, because we have two adsorbed species, A and B, reacting in the rate determining step, two sites are involved, and so the denominator ends up being squared. So this is our rate expression for a rate controlled by a langmuir hinshelwood or surface reaction. Another less common way this reaction could happen at the molecular level is that one adsorbed species could react directly with a molecule from the fluid phase. So let's write out what the elementary steps look like for this case. So we could have quasi-equilibrated adsorption of A. And then we could have reaction of adsorbed A directly with B from the fluid phase to form a product C and liberate that active site. So again, our overall reaction here is again A plus B going to C, but the way that this 
reaction happens at the molecular scale is different. So we call this step, this reaction between an adsorbed species A and a species B from the fluid phase or gas phase, an ileoridial type step. So in this case, the rate would be equal to our reaction rate constant K2 for this ileoridial step times the coverage of A times the concentration of B or its partial pressure times the total number of sites. So if we write this as a turnover frequency, this will just be K2 times theta A times the concentration of B. Now we can write the equilibrium coverage for A from a Langmuir isotherm. So in this case, we don't have competitive adsorption of B. So our Langmuir isotherm will simply be the equilibrium constant K1 for adsorption of A times the concentration of A divided by one plus K1A. So here, there's no term associated with B in the denominator because B does not occupy any sites on the catalytic surface. So with that, we can write the turnover rate, simply the reaction rate constant K2 for this Elier ideal step times the equilibrium constant K1 for adsorption of A times the concentrations of A and B divided by one plus K1 times A. So here you can see the denominator uh, is simply raised to an exponent of one because only one surface site is involved in the rate determining step. So this is how we develop rate expressions for uh, different types of catalytic reactions. So a langmuir hinchelwood and Elier ideal type uh, mechanism. And we can see how differences in the reaction rate expressions allow us to differentiate what type of mechanism might be occurring.